Hey, I'm Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> is that supposed to be funny? Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, I got one. Hold on, check this one out. Ooh, whoa, I'm whoa, ooh, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Me? Yeah. And uh, I saw you from across the room, and my heart just exploded. Wow. And you know I'm actually a Guinness World Record holder? Because you're the youngest Spider-Man? Yeah, but no, the youngest ever superhero to lead a film. I don't know how, and I never actually got my certificate. I'm in the book. Wow. Tom Holland, youngest ever superhero. Wow. Beat that, Jake. Wow. Uh, it's great. <laughs> I just did an interview two interviews ago and yeah. I totally spoiled the movie. Oh, great. Yeah, and someone from Sony like flew in and, and we had to that. kill the journalist. Is that why you're wearing a turtleneck? Yeah. Um, so I like turtleneck? would like to say I knew about it too. And obviously you don't know me, but I love your turtleneck. Thanks, man. <sighs> Stress swipe. Icky guy. Like if someone turns, if someone is talking too loudly yeah. or someone's playing music. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 they choose the quiet couch. He's still got a lot. He's got a long way to go. I just, just don't like way. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I wish we had. No, it's impossible. Not. Hey, what's up, everyone? Firstly, thank you so much to everyone in Brazil. It's been a fantastic day. The whole Spider-Man cast is so. Jake, <laughs> what are you doing? Just drying my hands. <clears throat> okay. You didn't need to say little hands. That was enough. No! <laughs> I mean, you know. Oh, this the little so hands really out. give the T-Rex away. Because it's like the universe was like, I'm so strong! Except for my little hands! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll eat you! With my little hands! Hey, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. And Tom Holland. Spider-Man Far From Home! Shh. No, no, one more time, one more time, one more time. One more time. Yeah, thank you, perfect, yeah. I, I did, I feel like screaming when I see him. Just yeah. go ahead, just Every go time ahead. I see time. him. No, I mean, he's just, he's a, con, he's a consummate professional. He, I think we share some similarities in that we both started acting very young. And I love his commitment to his craft, outside of him being the best Spider-Man around, um, to put on that costume. He's a physical actor. He is humble. Uh, he is deferential to those who are a little bit older than him in a way that you would never expect from somebody who is in his position, who has the power that he has. And I just adore him. I think he's great. Because people are heading to the Royal Highland show this morning. The M60 on the clockwise, they are. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> on the M60 clockwise, we've got queuing traffic at Junction 2. That's because of an accident. The queues are back to Junction 23 and Trevor's been on to say he's been sitting in these queues now for nearly an hour. The M6 on the northbound side, we've got a lane close from Junction 10 for Wolverhampton. Time I was Jeff. clearly Jack in the situation, and you were Rose. And Obviously. We met in a restaurant, and I'd found out that day that you'd been offered the role. So when you walked in, I was like, whoa, that's really weird. Whoa, and then no when way. you said, we should make a movie together, I was like, well, yeah, they, did they, they just offered you the movie. I don't know how to do this one. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. I, don't it's right not out. a thing. Okay. It's not a thing. Well, I mean, it is a thing, but it's not a thing. Try your best. Um, we're in London. We're going down the street to a funky bee. Oh. The. Uh... And I'm gonna get a haircut. 
I was about to say. Man, freestyle means you can do whatever you want. Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> I was about to be like, the streets? I was like, he's like, uh, I was like trying to figure it out. Uh, yeah. I'm in London. I was like, wait, are you? Trying to freestyle! Well, I want to talk to you quickly about the romance on yes. set. Yes, okay. We've heard about, so much about this romance on set. This bromance, if you will. You... It's really a romance. Tom... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Straight up? I'm just tired of the word bromance. Let's just call it like it is. It's oh, a straight it up romance. Yeah. Between me and Jake? Between you and oh, Jake. Oh, it's full on in love. We're getting married. Where is he? <laughs> Where's my husband? What is... Tom Holland picture. Yeah. Must have. The knitted, um, the macrobe knitted like every night. picture of Tom Holland on my duvet. Yeah. My Tom Holland undies. And that's it. That's I mean, that's basically it. it. Uh, I travel with. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with your eyes. What do you mean? I mean, we didn't really prank each other. There's the disco lights thing. There's that. There's also today. Oh, there is today. <laughs> I went up to hang out with Jake in his room with my brother in between press, and he made a protein shake for me. And there was like peanut butter, like what was it? Peanut like peanut butter dust in there. <laughs> and, uh, and he was like, I was like, how do you make this? And he was like, oh, you know, you just put protein powder, this and that, some peanut butter. And I was like, there's peanut butter in this? No, there's peanut butter in this? And his face immediately drops thinking I'm about to I thought he was allergic to peanut butter. Allergic reaction. That happens all the time with the two of us. <laughs> we like to trick each other like that. Well, I'm gonna do this without getting on the floor. <laughs> What the? <laughs> Come on! Get me out of this um, interview. Uh, I'm an animal. I don't know, like, what makes that noise? An octopus? No. Dolphins! Oh my god. Now you know what a good impression that Whoa. was. Well, it does have. Yeah! Spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody, 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 get me some. Oh, this is terrible. Give it a whirl. Like, booyah! Booyah! Hey! <laughs> Not clear, mate. I forget, we're of different generations. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, like. Hey, oh, yeah! Not clear, man. Nothing, I can't do it. I don't know. Uh, Who is it? Like, it sounds like, like a good impression like, of him. I yeah, know so like, say hello to my little friend. Oh, uh, Scarface guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thing in Chinese. Say something Yeah. How do you say I love you 2,000 times? Okay, we're going to show Yeah. Let's see it again. I love you 3,000 Wow, that's great. Let's do it together. Together, slowly. Sorry. I need you 3,000 times. That's great. Pronounce. We don't talk enough about Cabbage Patch dolls or uh, Garbage Pail Kids anymore, and I'm glad that you brought that up. Benedict Cabbage Patch is actually. His great grandfather started Cabbage Patch dolls, and they were a big thing in the 90s. That's how Benedict got his start in the business, was his uncle, who obviously became really wealthy uh, from all of the-, the, the Cabbage Patch kids. Uh, uh, profits, um, flew him to London and put him in an apartment, and he started to audition, and then he made his career. So the truth of the matter is, without Cabbage Patch kids, Benedict Cabbage Patch. Cabbage Patch wouldn't have a career and you wouldn't have Dr. Stranger. So think about it. That was a really funny story, man. What? What? Was I talking or was I thinking? I don't know what was going okay, on. Okay, cool.